I have never done anything like this before. But I love Halloween. I think if you're here, you do as well. And I thought it would be nice for me to sit down and read a book to you guys, especially if you're stuck at home, if you're lonely, if you don't have plans. Um, I don't wanna to get too serious in this video. This is meant to be a relaxing video, but right after Halloween, we head into the holidays. And I know that that time of year can be extremely hard for a lot of people. It's a very happy time of year, but it also is a very lonely time of year. And for some people, a very sad time of year, especially if they are grieving. I turn the lights down, so if you're lying in bed watching this, I'm not gonna blind you. So let's read The Nightmare Before Christmas. A crowd of creatures stood waiting in the center of Halloween Town. When Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, arrived, they cheered, celebrating another successful spooky holiday. Great Halloween, everybody, Mayor said as the group quieted down. I believe it was our most frightful yet, Jack added. Thank you, everyone. But Jack soon left the party and joined his ghost dog, Zero, in the quiet graveyard. After so many Halloweens, he was growing bored with the same old things. Sally, a rag doll created by scientist Dr. Finkelstein, watched Jack wander through the graves. She understood how he felt. She also wanted more in life, but Dr. Finkelstein refused to set her free. Jack walked all night with Zero, going deep into the woods. He came into a clearing surrounded by seven large trees each with a different door painted on it. What is this? Jack wondered aloud. He was most curious about the door with a pine tree symbol. He opened the door and was swept up by a strong gust of wind. The wind pulled Jack down into the darkness. Jack landed on a snowy hill above a town filled with colorful lights and joyful sounds. He was thrilled. There were so many new things for him to see from snow falling to people singing songs to a large man shouting, ho, ho, ho. Jack thought he heard the man being called Sandy Claus. Jack learned that he was in a place called Christmas Town. Jack returned to Halloween Town and told everyone about his adventure. While people were excited to hear about the unusual Sandy Claus, they didn't understand the strange, unscary holiday Jack described. After weeks of learning all he could about Christmas, Jack made an announcement. This year, Christmas will be ours, he shouted. Everyone cheered, except Sally. She had picked a weed in Jack's yard, which had grown into a Christmas tree and then caught fire. Considering it a bad omen, Sally expected Jack's plan to end horribly, but because she loved him, she vowed to do her best to help him succeed. Preparations for Christmas were underway in Halloween Town, and everyone was pitching in. Dr. Finkelstein made skeleton reindeer and ghost and ghouls decorated the square. And despite her reservations, Sally made Jack his own Sandy Claus suit. Jack called on Lock, Shock, and Barrel for a top secret job. They ran into Christmas Town and kidnapped Sandy Claus. Jack needed Sandy Claus out of the way so he could deliver presents this year. Jack told the trio to make Sandy Claus comfortable, but instead they took them to their boss, Oogie Boogie, a villain who loved to cause chaos. Soon it was Christmas Eve and Jack was ready to spread joy. We're off, he shouted to an excited crowd. With Zero leading his coffin sleigh, Jack shot into the sky. But the scary toys Jack delivered were not at all what the children expected. Instead of joy, Jack's presence spread fear throughout the world. As the residents of Halloween Town watched Jack through a witch's cauldron, Sally worried that something would go wrong. She knew what she had to do. Where'd they take that Sandy Claus, she shouted and left to find him. 
While Jack flew home, spotlights shone on him and explosions went off all around. They're thanking us for doing such a good job, Jack told Zero, but he quickly learned they were trying to blast him out of the sky. Jack's sleigh was damaged and it fell to the ground, landing in a graveyard. At first, Jack was disappointed. Everything had gone wrong, despite his good intentions. But then he realized that although he wanted to do something wonderful, he had also been trying to be someone he was not. He was ready to be the Pumpkin King once more. He vowed to make next year's Halloween the best ever, but this night wasn't done. Come on, Zero, Jack said, headed back to Halloween Town. Christmas isn't over yet. Back in Halloween Town, Jack raced to Oogie Boogie's lair and was shocked to find not only Sandy Claus, but also Sally. They were both tied up and in danger. Jack was touched that Sally had tried so hard to help him. Jack freed the pair, but then he was trapped by Oogie Boogie. How dare you treat my friends so shamefully, Jack shouted. He was able to pull a loose thread on Oogie Boogie's burlap sack body until it fell apart. And all the bugs that made up Oogie Boogie scattered everywhere. Jack apologized to Sandy Claus for what he had done. I hope there's still time, he said, to fix Christmas, Santa Claus said. Of course there is. I'm Santa Claus. And with a little magic, Santa floated away to save the holiday. While everyone celebrated Jack's return, Santa Claus flew overhead and brought snow to Halloween Town for the first time. Later, Jack found Sally in the graveyard and took her hands. He was happy that things were back to the way they were meant to be. The end. Happy Halloween, everybody.